next presentation we have is from Herman Louis from City of Burnaby. Thank you much for the intro. In this session, I'm going to show you how we automated Dow Before You Dig at the City of Burnaby. To do this, I'll have some clips on why digging without timely information can be costly, not just financially. A little bit of background on how we digitally transform from manual to automations. Before we get into that, we're going to do something dangerous for a presenter, something live. If you see the QR code there, take your cell phones out, scan it. It should be all secondary, second nature to us because we did this during COVID. And I don't believe it. You guys picked up your cell phone. Haven't you heard about social engineering and phishing? That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kidding aside, what's actually happening? You are simulating a BC1 call request to the city of Burnaby asking for infrastructure information on a location within the city of Burnaby. What's not in the email, and no, it's not a virus. What you're going to get is PDF files. What's not happening is you're not getting spam in the future, data collection, and no homeland security issue because everything's processed in BC and on our servers. A little bit about us, our website, if you want to know more, our size, the population, you know, size. I'm one of 16 GISers in the organization. The core of us sit within engineering, three in parks, three in planning. If you are prone to seizures, please look away. What's actually happening now is BC One Call Request. It's a nonprofit agencies who take requests from homeowners, contractors, engineering firms, or anyone who wants information about a location within the city of Burnaby. This represents six months of requests. If you double that, it touches every part of the city. Well, why do we do this? And what could really happen? These two clips will touch a little bit on this concept. Welcome to the Pearly Gates. Name? Bob. 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 Mm. Ah. Digging up the front yard, Bob? Yeah. Lots of sparks and a bright white light. Yeah, and then poof, I'm standing right here. <laughs> Bob, did you think to call BC One Call? Um, They're the one place to call to find out where not to dig. <laughs> No. Before you dig, call BC One Call at 1-800-474-6886. You know, I like the chipmunks. It's going to add some flair to the clip. What could happen? 2007 Inlet Drive Burnaby. Somebody hit black gold. And paper towels are not going to clean up this mess. <laughs> but for the IT crowd here, think of this as a fiber optic duct. You hit that. You could be out more than 24 hours, and this has happened in the city of Burnaby. We'll see what happened to that contractor a little later. A little of the how history. I'm going to take you through a brief journey through time, from the origins of paper to the explosion of web apps and present day automation. In 1994, we only had 140 requests. 1999, jumped up to 720, but it increased staff resources by 1.25 full-time employee. Let's see why. The wall of paper. The old days, we'd actually have to look this up, look up key maps, drawings, write down project IDs, gather this information, we go back to the wall of paper, hunt down each drawing manually, and you're hoping it's in the book, not lost, damaged, or on some, someone's desk. Now, it's photocopying, and we would have to get details on each and every property in the request area. This took about two hours to do. 
if it was a really bad area where it had a lot of telecommunication, oil, or other fiber optic ducts, this one took two days. Don't forget two copies, one for us, one for the contractor. We need to keep it for liability. We knew this in 2000, and this was unsustainable. So what we did is we scanned all 50,000 drawings in our vault, and we created a web application to do the searching for us. And that reduced our time down to approximately 15 minutes per request. But this was still a manual process. Virtually, instead of actually looking up the drawings, we did a spatial search. We look for this information, it would go to our directories, grab this, organize it, create a PDF. Same activities, major reduction from two hours down to 15 minutes. But what happens is that a large PDF file doesn't fit in an email. We would have to burn CDs to ask the contractors to come in. Don't forget, this was 2000. Well, history has a tendency to repeat itself. But this time around, in 2016-17, we started automation. And as you can see in the chart, an increase in ticket requests doesn't mean an increase in staffing requirements. Where's this automation come from? We implemented a software called Safe FME as an ESB, an enterprise service bus. Instead of lines of code, we use graphical transformers for a no-code, low-code solution. Here, we read the email from the JSON. We extract XML, GML from the files, combine them together, merge them, query geo databases, geofences. We write these PDFs to a SAN location, upload it via uh, HTTP or SHH, to an FTP server, we construct the body of the email, and we send it to the requester in three to five minutes. And for all those trailblazers out there who actually did scan it, take a look. Everyone will have a different request for a location within Burnaby. Who are the stakeholder ROIs? If we did the status quo from 2017 to 21, it's about 125,000 of staff time, benefits, salary, overtime for just one and a half persons. Or automation with the development over the same time period, that's 140,000. So a little less than 500,000 in change of savings over the five years. It's a quick request. Here you see at 655, Someone requests the information. Burnaby receives it at 6.57. We process it and send it out at 7 a.m. And guess what? They're digging in the ground at 7.30. So it gives us a lot of lead times to not find black gold. It's available 24 hours a day. Sunday morning, 7 a.m. I'm hoping you're in the office taking care of business because I'm not. 5.30 in the morning or 5.50 in the morning, I'm still asleep. And most people are, but contractors work at different hours. 7.30, I'm on the way to work. By the time eight o'clock rolls around, we've already completed 10 requests before anyone gets in the office. One day we actually had a 126 requests come in. If you think about the old method of 15 minutes, that's 31 and a half hours for one person to work to complete that task. Or we did it via automation. And I think there's still 24 hours in a day. Liability. We store this information so we know what we sent out for the last seven years. And remember that contractor who hit our fiber duct? We actually have a downloaded or not list. We know that that contractor downloaded that underground package four times. Maybe they just didn't read the drawings. They've gladly accepted the bill. A reduction in staff time. 
Lehman Brothers moment. Thank you, staff, for your service. Goodbye. No. Staff were moved to other value-added services. For us, it was only one staff, but a provincial organization has 24 staff doing this 24 hours a day. Think about redeploying those resources within your organizations to do more with what you have. All of this put together, it's about, yeah, I guess, saving money. Some futures ideas that we have are, currently we send out a textual information for our locations of service lines on property. Pictures worth a thousand words because 25 meters off the east property line, well, 25 meters is in the bushes somewhere. A picture is valuable. Next is we're going to give you x ray vision, telescopic vision, microvision, and lasers. Nope, sorry, that's Superman. What we plan to do is put augmented reality where you can see pipes, manholes, street lights from a downloaded file from the city of Burnaby. So we can use that for contractors in the field. Think about this, you know, the people with kids in the audience, Pokemon Go for adults. <laughs> Again, uh, the QR code, if you're interested and you want to try it out. Uh, I, GIS, IT team, thank you for your time, and I'm open for questions. Just, just curious, how long it took to get to that automation you showed us? The automation took approximately six months to build. Um, it was done as a agile method with actual administration staff reviewing this. As we built each module, they helped us review. So this, because they are the experts, they understand the data more than I do. That looks fantastic. How willing are you to share with us smaller municipalities that have one GIS tech? Uh, <laughs> I've actually shared the workspace all over the world. They've been calling to get the workspace. So give me your card and we can talk after. Same question. Anywhere you had to fail fast? Fail fast would be letting staff or actual non-GIS, non-IT staff make decisions. By having them understand the process that I go through to create this and what database it needs to hit they as they work through the process they understood oh i can't just say i want av or avenue or ave so once they understood the data behind it they were actually helping me to look for it faster What was the reaction from contractors, people making the requests? How did they feel about it? It actually worked great because during COVID, we actually had no downtime in requesters or contractors because they were separated in the field working. Additionally, we had so many benefits because during COVID, we had staff working at home. It's difficult doing this even via a remote desktop. The capabilities of now staff in the end of the day, all they had to do was read successful, 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 probably about a 99.98% completion rate. You know, some people still don't have emails. Um, as a critical 24 seven service, what kind of resiliency measures have you had to put in place to detect failures or, or that kind of uh, incident? Currently right now, Sad to say, there is no resiliency. What happens with the new version of FME software, we hope to implement a guaranteed delivery system where when a server goes down, it holds it in the queue so it can re-request that. Very similar to the way we work it with email. It lives in the you know internet somewhere and the queue will come back to us. That's what we plan to do with those services.
Thank you much.